Hey, Shalom, Yasha Allah. I'm going to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And also, Shalom to you, sincere listeners. The elect was destined to get this truth and to stick with it until the very end. But the rest of the people are blinded. Okay? Because what you have a lot of people that uh, say they're in the truth, but they still can't get over the fact that two thirds of our people won't understand this word, man. OK, they don't understand that the Lord is not dealing with two thirds of our people. And uh, might I add. You have some people that learned of the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Right. And they have learned the truth, but then they fell back out and went into the world so they fall into that two-third category as well if the heavenly father fits that uh for them not to repent and return back unto him which those cases are, are not likely to happen too much but hey there's nothing impossible with the heavenly father you know but if you knew this truth and you and you fell out and went back into the world you know you you're you're just as you're just as a two-third man but you're going to be beaten with many stripes because you knew the truth at the point in time, man. But you forsook Yahweh Shah and went back into the world or, you know, uh, whatever type of madness that you got yourself into, whether you went to um, different philosophies or you went back into uh, the Christian church or, you know, whatever the case may be. But, you know, just uh, putting this out there, hey, man, this this truth is not for everyone, man. Like I said before, the elect is destined to get it and to stick with it all the way through, you know, and, and the rest of the people, you know, uh, they were blinded, man. They didn't get the same opportunity. OK, so with that being said, let's get the first scripture, Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, right? And will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call them my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God or my power. You know, so this path chart, you know, three parts of the path, two-thirds of our people, a part of that path, they got to be destroyed, man. All right? They have to be cut off and die. But the third part, which will represent the elect, you know, they're, they're going to be left therein. And they are going to be what? Uh, refined. Okay? That's why it says they're going to be, I will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. Because you know, if you know anything about uh, the refining process of dealing with uh, silver and gold, you know, uh, what they do is they try to get all the impurities out of that okay to make it what precious to make it pure and the same thing the heavenly father is doing with his elect man because the two-thirds y'all represent a uh, draw silver man you know draw silver that don't want to be pure fat you know y'all don't want to come to the truth y'all don't want to hearken into uh the heavenly father's counsel which is the men of the lord that's on the highways and byways preaching a word so what? Y'all got to be cut off and die, man. You know, y'all want to continue to celebrate all your uh, your pagan feast days. You know, y'all want to continue in all your wickedness and your idolatry. So y'all have to be destroyed. That is that is your lot, man. And if you didn't know, you know, you early on coming into this truth, these people have a lot to play, man. They got to play their part as a two third. And a man of the Lord got to do his part. You know, which is doing the work of Yahabashim Yahusha, which that consists of, you know, going on the highways and byways as you're commanded to to preach, you know, uh, to live your life, uh, uh, to live your life in the ways that the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. You know, we have our duty and the two thirds got their duty, man. And theirs is to be wicked and rebellious, but they're going to be destroyed for their, their rebelliousness. You know, but you got to come to the realization that Hey, well, we both have our parts to play. You know, and that's just how it is. Because, hey, these people have been blinded, man. 
You know, their table has been made a snare and their eyes have been darkened. Let's get that. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, start at verse 6, it says, um, Slakia, Isaiah 6, Isaiah chapter 6, um, we'll start at verse 9. And he says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, right, meaning their mind, and convert and be healed. Hey, so the Lord put that spirit on these people that what? They could not get this truth, man. Hey, so shut their ears, right? Shut their eyes that they couldn't hear or they couldn't see, man. So they don't understand of nothing that's going on. They've been spiritually blocked out. Okay? But you get people wondering, like, how long? How long is this going to be? How long are they going to be in, in this state of a, uh, of a spiritual block? Verse 11, it tells you, it says, Then said I, lo I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So that's how long our people, uh, ears is going to be heavy, and their eyes is going to be shut. Okay, because their lot is to be destroyed, man. That's why I said so they couldn't so they couldn't convert and be healed. All right. But then on the flip side, you know, you have the election that's going to obtain this. Right. What, what are they going to attain? They're going to attain the truth. They're going to obtain the knowledge and wisdom, of, wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man, with which the two thirds can't obtain or retain right like i said before you have people that come in as truth but then for two different things they fall out like some fall out behind the cares of this world money um fame uh uh you know many different things women you know uh another of uh, uh, they might have an itching ear and they might get caught up in another philosophy it could be anything man you know but they didn't stick with it Ultimately, that means that they weren't a part of the elect, man. Hey, because the scripture says many are called, but few are chosen. Let's get that. Because many are called into this thing, you know, but there's only going to be a few chosen. Here we go. Matthew 22. Matthew 22, verse 14. Let's see if there's more on that. Now that's the point. It says, for many are called, but few are chosen. You know, so many are called into this truth, but out of those many that are called, only a few are chosen. Okay, because there it all goes back to that elect. Okay. That small remnant that the Heavenly Father uh that the Heavenly Father have bring it into himself, you know. The small remnant that Yahweh Bashim uh brung brought into himself, okay? To be what? To be justified, man. Whose mouth was uh whose mouth was found with no gal, man. Or whose mouths, Salakia. So let's go to the book of Romans. Okay, so Romans 11, verse 7, it says, What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So what is Israel looking for? What are they out seeking? They're seeking for the truth. They are seeking for the truth. You know, that's why when Jake get in all these different manner of things, you know, even when they get to, as they feel their best potential or the height of the things that they want to accomplish, they still feel that what? That empty space, that void, that lacking, that still need of want of something. And ultimately, it's the truth. It's the wisdom and knowledge, understanding of the Holy Bible. It's the Holy Spirit, right? It's the Rakal Kadash. It's the Holy Spirit that they're truly looking for. But they what? They couldn't obtain, obtain, obtain it. 
That's why you see Jake and all these different, you know, uh, religions and, and different ways of forms of fashions, you know, that they seek to because they know they're missing something. But all the stuff that they're seeking is vain. You know, not knowing that the truth is right there in their face, but the but they can't see it because what? They're blinded. They still have that spiritual block on them. The signs be there. <laughs> you know? But it says in the rest, so like it says, but the election have obtained it. The election have uh, received the truth and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And they would say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back way. So like and bow down their back all way. So, hey, even as King David said, man, you know, hey, let their table be made a snare and a trap, you know, and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. You know, let their eyes be darkened. You know, so, hey, that, that spiritual block is uh, on two thirds of our people, man, where they just can't get it, man. You know, and that's what you have to come to reality with, man. You can't be trying to, you know, run around because you know the truth and force the truth on all these people. They just not going to get it, man. They just not. And brothers have done this before. We try to, you know, deal with our different loved ones and friends and try to, you know, tell them the truth because it was exciting to exciting to us. It was burning in our spirit, too, you know. Because we found that uh, what we was lacking and what we were truly missing. So we figured, hey, we know that this is true. So I I got I to gotta tell, tell everybody, man. I got to let them know. You know, I know they're missing this too. And there's, and there's, I know their spirit is missing it. But, you know, you come to a realization after a while that, hey, my people just won't get it, man. And then when you read the scriptures, it confirms it and seals it. And then in your mind, you say, that's why my people don't understand. That's why I'm looked at as crazy, you know, because they just can't get it and they were never meant to. You know, so hey, that that's the point. You know, I just wanted to touch on that. Hey, some, you know, the election is gonna uh obtain this, this truth, and, and, and go full throttle with this until the end, you know. But the rest of our people, hey, they're blinded, man. They're never gonna get it. So there ain't no point to try to force these people and make them get something that they were never meant to get. Okay, but with that, I'm going to close and say shalom.